Super burrito, carne asada, everything. Hondo beans. Uh, black. Castillo just downstairs conveniently placed and even more convenient it's like the only spot that's open late everybody else is closed it's Sunday night and I don't know the last place I went but they just give you some chips for free got a little bit of a toast here on the um, tortilla solid construction very tight roll this gentleman definitely knew what he was doing. I can tell by watching him, and I can tell by uh, eating this now. They actually give you your choice of black or pinto beans, which I wouldn't expect outside of Chipotle. I have trouble finding fault with this. It's a work of art. This is pretty much the way it's supposed to be. I really need to take a, a, a break here and have a little beverage. I'm paying a $36 a day amenities fee although the other amenities are a bit unclear <laughs> the main one is that they'll fill this bottle no doubt from a bathtub probably i'm sure this is a municipal san francisco water not that i have a problem with it i just have a problem with paying 36 dollars for it or 36 cents for it since i have a sink of my own they did ask me about salsa they also had pico and i said no no i'm good and uh, I said, oh, one salsa is good. It wasn't good. I should have took two. Besides rice and steak, I think we've got pico, cilantro, onion, beans. And I think that's it. If I had to fly home right now, I'd be satisfied. If that was the only burrito I got to have in San Francisco, I'd say I did all right. Maybe I've had better, but I've certainly had many, many that were worse. Hopefully, it's onward and upward from here. We'll find out tomorrow. They get a regular burrito, carne asada, everything to go. So you want guacamole and something? Yeah, sure. That was slick. You just have sold me like that. I didn't even really. Okay, I'll go with it. No, let me get a uh, tamarind taritos also, please.
part of me. Salsa? It's inside? Thank you. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, so apparently it's a San Francisco thing. You're always gonna get some chips with your burrito. This is news to me. But I'm not gonna fight it. Only a couple spots in Hyde Ashbury. Um, and then the one of them looked very much like a Qdoba. So I thought this one would be authentic and it was a little Qdoba-ish as well. But what are you gonna do? It's very heavy. This slick, slick bastard upsold me like that and I fell for it. I got hustled hard for three bucks for a shot of sour cream and a shot of guacamole. All right, so we got an interesting tortilla here. It's got like a translucent type of effect here. It kind of looks like an alien offspring or something. <laughs> looks like a placenta. I got a lot of guacamole on that first bite. So at least I'm seeing where my $3 went. Real solid, no complaints. Well rolled, well constructed. Let's have a little, a little shot of this uh, salsa baby. Thing. I'm not sure what to make of that. There's something, maybe it's Mexican oregano. There's something in there that's familiar, but not really usual. A little bit of heat. Sour cream in a burrito is just something I don't need. Um, this, this sour cream is pretty tangy. It is adding some value but generally it's something I'll pass on. Today I actually paid for it. Let's see what's up with this salsa roja. A deep magenta hue. And then it looks a little marinara saucy. It's got way more heat. And you can really get the dried chilies there. That, that's excellent. I'm usually a green salsa guy, but that's, uh, that's hot. So far the thing that this spot has got going for it the most is this red salsa, which is funny because that's not something I go for. And visually, it's so bright red, I should be checking this bag for some macaroni. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're eating today, it's 25% as good as what I've got going on today. This is just otherworldly. Chin Chin, Nostrovia, to all my friends. Ooh. Regular burrito with everything, carne asada to go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day.
no way these are homemade. In fact, these are like gringo chips. I could be wrong. Except the salsa verde only. She didn't ask me my preference, and I would have taken either or. Um, that's interesting. Gotta go for the sip. It's like avocado green. Very good, very good, pure tomatillo flavor. I feel like this is a, the smallest burrito for its size. The weight feels correct. Burrito number three, Mission District, Love San Francisco. I'd be shocked if this burrito's not great. Beans are prevalent, very tasty, well seasoned. Oh yeah. Expose some pico, carne asada, the works. Definitely feeling the salsa. I love that they didn't even offer you any red. Who wants red salsa? It's boring. Got a little bit of a stringy bit of steak there. I don't want a filet mignon burrito. This burrito is definitely on point. I've got like a perfect cross section right here. Seeing a lot of uh, that pico has some very larger and, and rough chopped tomato. It's one of those things that's already like 145. I delayed lunch because I kind of ate a late breakfast. And then I'm like, man, I'm still not even hungry, but I better get going. The, the day is wasting, but as soon as you put this in my hand, suddenly it's like I haven't eaten for a week. Absolutely killer. If this is the smallest burrito, it's, a, it's not a difference I care about. It's interesting the tortilla and the way it's been handled has been one of the biggest contrasts when we go back to um, the spot in tenderloin that guy left it on the flat top an excessively long time I saw it sitting there I'm not complaining but it got overly blistered and the tortilla will almost sort of separate like puff pastry then we go to um, the one from yesterday in Hyde Ashbury that was uh, like I said that more transparent it's a, just a different, um, the way it was baked is different. This this is just like a standard. This is the type of tortilla that I'm used to. And this is, uh, it, all of them are good. And uh, this one's very familiar to me. It's perfect. Get up, get out, and get yourself a burrito. Or make yourself one. God knows I've made hundreds. There's no right or wrong way.